Yeah, what this library really needs is AC. No, not American cheese, air conditioning. It, oh, hello, blah, and all that. Welcome once again to Creepy Cheapies with Dr. Lady, all you Halloween fans out there. Uh, I'm Vanilla Ice, and today's uh, horrifying monstrosity is this one, which is called Dr. Lady in About Another Year. Let me, let me check, is it, uh, is that, what, what does it say on, on the, there was a tag on this, what, what did it say? Oh, oh, it said something different, oh, okay, start again. Today's mask, which is called Grandpa from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, yeah. Now, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, obviously the first sequel to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, came out way back in 1986, and uh, had Grandpa here. Grandpa Sawyer. In the first movie, they didn't really have a name given, but in the second movie, they were calling him the Sawyer family, which is sort of a pun, you know, saw, saw, yeah. Uh, Grandpa Sawyer here was played by a guy named Ken Everett, who sadly, and rather ironically, uh, even though he played this 137-year-old man in the movie, uh, he died rather young. He, he uh, died at age 56 and never got to be an ancient, shriveled up old man himself, which is very sad. But anyway, the creeps at Trick or Treat Studios have recreated the mask uh, as sculpted by uh, Justin Mabry, one of the head creeps at Trick or Treat Studios, by the way, designed originally for the film by the legendary makeup artist Tom Savini, worn by Ken Everett, and then re-sculpted for you in, uh, when was it, about 2016, I think? Is that right? When did this one come out first? Was it 2016? He's, he's, yeah, he doesn't remember. He says he forgets quite a bit these days. He's not sure if it was 2016, 2017, eh, somewhere in there. But uh, what a fantastic sculpture this is. I don't know if they all look as good as this one, but uh, the one I, I got here is, is, I think, just amazing looking. The detail on it is outstanding and you can see how he's got this kind of red nose that looks like he's maybe imbibed a little too much a uh, little too much shine over the years he's got a little bit of a little sprig of hair right on there just like in the film he's got some uh, unpleasant skin condition going on either some uh, what is that psoriasis is that what that is I'm not sure but he has something uh, that he that he needs uh, needs to seek medical treatment for I think fantastic detail and one nice thing about this mask is that uh, he sells for about 60 bucks which is not bad at all for a full head uh, with a neck and a mask that uh, you know displays this well and looks this good in the collection and is even based on a Tom Savini design from uh, a good disgusting and sick and twisted movie from 1986. Uh, now as far as what you would wear with him if you were going to wear him, in the movie he wears a dark suit like a, a you know, a, like he's going to a, a formal affair, like he's going to a funeral or a wedding. Or so he wears a suit and tie, a white shirt and a necktie. But uh, since he's such a good generic old man, in addition to being such a good version of that specific character of old 137 year old Grandpa Sawyer, uh, you could also just put uh, really any kind of clothing on him and use him as a creepy old man and uh, not everybody is going to associate it with that movie because he's just a good all-purpose creepy old man which means you could put him in uh, you know a, a plaid flannel shirt and uh, 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 blue overalls like Oshkosh Bagash you know over or anything and make him look like a creepy old farmer or something um, I, I'm, I'm undecided on the hair what do you think should I uh, should I ask Laura to put more hair on this one or should I leave it alone because this is how it how it came should I leave it alone or should I have Laura put more hair I don't know it could go either way because uh, you know it, it, sometimes it looks like it, it has more hair like he has more hair in the movie but then really it looks pretty good like like this and I like the fact that they have the hair on there thin enough so that you can see some of his uh, scalp to it so that's pretty realistic but again, 60 bucks for a licensed collector mask of a very creepy character and an ultra-realistic sculpture with a nice paint job. So uh, I say go for it, you know. And um, until next time here at the Library of Horror Hotel, 
Uh, well, uh, just remember what they say. Statistically speaking, six out of seven dwarves are not happy. <laughs>